You didn't need a security clearance to figure out who benefited from malicious Russian cyber activity. The president-elect didn't call it into question. He called on Russia to hack his opponent. He called on Russia to hack Secretary Clinton. So he certainly had a pretty good sense of whose side this activity was coming down on. The last several weeks of the election were focused on a discussion of emails that had been hacked and leaked by the Russians. These were emails from the DNC and John Podesta. Not from the RNC and Steve Bannon. Some format takes it upon itself to start a committee and look into it. It was the president-elect who hired a campaign chairman with extensive, lucrative, personal financial ties to Russia. It was the president-elect who had a national security advisor on the campaign that had been a paid contributor to RT, the Russian propaganda outlet. That's Twitter. Um, President-elect Trump said that... One conclusion that it leads me to is the special responsibility that members of Congress have to take a close look at this, particularly those members of Congress that endorsed Mr. Trump in the election. They were aware of all this information, too, not because they were getting classified briefings, because it was available to the public. We heard um, from Donald Trump on Twitter, I think, this morning 